But first, breaking news from Portsmouth. A police officer shot and killed a man at a department store this morning. And that is where we're starting our news coverage on Wavy News 10 Midday. The deadly shooting happened outside the Walmart on Frederick Boulevard this morning. You can see the store near Airline Boulevard right there on that map. And that is where we find 10 on your side's Deanna LeBlanc. And Deanna, we now know state police are helping with this investigation. Yeah, Katie, state police have taken over the criminal investigation into this. Portsmouth police are only doing the internal investigation. Now you can see a few state police investigators are still here even since midday. Some of them have left. We know that the shooting happened just on the backside of that Walmart sign, just where the pavement begins and the grass ends. But we don't know why. Portsmouth police have handed everything over to state police. They are not commenting and state police are not answering my questions either. We do not know why the officer was what why, why the officer shot this person. We don't even know what sort of incident happened in the beginning. We don't know if it happened on the road inside the store in the parking lot. They will not give us any details. Here is what we do know at 735 AM. A Portsmouth police officer fired his service weapon and 10 minutes later the victim was pronounced dead. The officer radio dispatched to let them know that he fired those shots. Then medics arrived and pronounced that victim dead here at the scene. Now we say victim, but we also don't know if this person was a suspect. We do not know the circumstances. And again, police aren't commenting. Now, right now, several hours later, the scene has calmed down, but I spoke with a woman who heard the gunshots around 735 this morning. Listen to what she had to say. It was about 7.30 this morning, and I heard two gunshots. And then I came out, and I could see a guy laying on the ground in Walmart parking lot. What else did you see? Um, I saw he had on a white shirt and just blood on the shirt. And it was like three people standing there um, beside him, but it was a lot of police cars out here, too. Now, all we know about the person who is deceased is that he is an adult male. The medical examiner has not arrived yet. It appears detectives are actually right now maybe examining the body of that person. It's still behind that Walmart sign. Now, again, Virginia State Police have taken the lead, and I asked Portsmouth Police why. They said in a statement, which I'll read to you in part, the Virginia State Police have the resources readily available to handle the entire investigation from start to finish. They also say that Portsmouth Police Chief Ed Hargis has asked Virginia State Police to investigate this case because it is, quote, our second officer involved shooting this month. Now, like I mentioned, there are still so many unanswered questions. We are working to get those answers as soon as we hear from state police. We'll let you know. Live in Portsmouth, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. 10 on your side. Our team is pushing to learn every angle of this story today. You just saw Deanna LeBlanc on the scene. Joe Fisher is also there speaking with officials and other people affected by the shooting. He was there moments after it happened this morning. You can also find up-to-the-minute information on wavy.com.